Hello, Karen here, and the UK Scrap Addicts prompt for February is to use punches. Now, I don't think I'm going to have any trouble doing that because I have a serious problem with how many punches I have. I must have over a hundred. I have um, trays and trays of them, so this is a good one to get me back into using them. So the first thing I did for this page is to cut this doily shape out of white cardstock on my silhouette but I've noticed it's actually missed a little bit here so I have to make sure I cover that up with something. I kept the centrepiece because what I'm going to do with that is punch, border punch strips of paper and lay them on to there. I've seen that done on quite a few layouts recently and it looks really effective. The papers that I'm going to use are mostly um, from a Dovecraft pack that I had, a rainbow pack. So I'm going to use the pink as the background and then there's um, all these other rainbow pieces. I don't know if I'm going to get to use the ones that are completely rainbow. Also I've got a couple of pieces of Lawn Fawn, that was from a, a rainbow range called Really Rainbow, which I thought would go very very nicely with the others. So first thing I'm going to do is actually punch a corner, I use a corner punch to punch each of the corners, so I'll put my paper to one side while I do that. This is um, a Martha Stewart round the page punch, but I'm just going to use the corner piece. Pink background, it should have a border and some nice corners. Oh, that looks really nice. I think I'll leave it as it is. And I'm going to use the corresponding punch, border punch for that to cut the strips and then I also have oh, hundreds, well, that's a bit of an exaggeration, dozens of leaf and flower punches. So once I've got that circle filled and in there I'm going to do a, a swag of flowers here to cover that bit up and maybe some at the top. So I'm just going to go off and punch some strips. So I've cut out seven of my strips. I've just got the last one to do, which I'll do now. Once I'd got all the strips laid down, I realised I needed another purple one for the top, so I've just used a scrap. There we go, let's check it off it. Yes, so what I'm going to do now is trim away the excess leaving a little bit of a border.
perfect I think so I will glue that onto there and back it with the pink So now I've decided on the placement of my flowers and leaves, I'm going to stick them all down and give them a bit of dimension. Um, usually when I do this I just put them in the palm of my hand and kind of go around with the finger and that will give them a bit of shape. So I'll do that and show you the finished layout in a moment. So the final thing is to add the title that I've drawn and cut on my silhouette and these bling stickers that I found for a pound in the works which I think will work really well. If you enjoyed this process video for using your punches, there's plenty more inspiration from the other DT on our Facebook page, on YouTube and also on our blog, links below. Until next month, bye, happy scrapping.